it's Kip K for Make Magazine, and I'm here at Maker Fair with a Maker Fair weekend project. Now, when you think of prototyping, what do you think of? Well, you think of prototype cars, you think of prototype planes, or maybe even prototype robots. Well, today, I'm going to show you something a little bit different. It's called kind of like Frankenstein prototyping on today's weekend project. So I'm here with Perry Kay of Gizmo Enterprises. Gizmo Enterprises. Hey, we've been we've had it before Gizmo and uh, Gremlins. 88, okay. 88, founded in 88. All right, so tell me a little bit about this Frankenstein prototyping. All right, basically, uh, when you go to build like an uh, electrical project, you don't make your own solder. When you go to build a piece of furniture, you don't make your own nails, right? So what we do is we, un we believe that everything you need to make 99% of what you're going to make is already in a big box, in a big box store. Walmart, Sears, Target, Kmart. So what we do is we go and we find the parts that we need that are already manufactured and made to a high quality, low price, and we go and buy it and cull it out of the parts that are already in the store. So it makes it where we don't even have to wait for DigiKey to send us a part. We don't have to wait for MSC to send us you know, a piece of material we need. It's there. We just run over to Walmart or Target or Kmart, buy the item, yank the part out, and we're, we're ready to go. We're makes to go a whole day. lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Okay, so show us some cool well, stuff, all right? Tell you, this, this okay. right here. You know, kids think that you take a, uh, a toy and you buy it, they, they think that a seed was popped in the box and it grew in there, right? They have no concept when, of how things are made. And when they look at something, they say, you know what, I don't think I can make this. There's a foreign piece of glass in here and there's metal. I have no idea how it's made. Well, what we're, what we're doing is we develop products that we sell on home shopping channels and all over the world. And before we do that, before we end up with that final product, we make a Frankenstein prototype. So this is a third generation of a Frankenstein prototype. You can see this is using a Craftsman nail gun. This is for a toy that we made called the Atomic Top, atomictop.com. And watch, let me show you what it does. All right, let's see, it, let's see it in action. Let's see it in action. You ready? Here's the Atomic Top. Squeeze the trigger. And it shoots a spinning top. This right here cost about $15 to make. This is a Sears Craftsman nail gun. It's about $11. Then we use scrap sheets of plastic. You could probably get plastic for $3 or $4. Uh, we use some epoxy putty. Uh, down here to hold everything together. A tube of that is about six bucks, and then we use some. They look like marshmallows, but they're just foam cubes to keep kids from breaking it when they, you know, put it on the ground. Uh, there's just six screws here, a piece of polycarb on the front to provide some flex flexibility, and then acrylic uh, as the back. It pre it's a pretty simple project. It takes about after you made the first one, it takes about two to three hours to go ahead and line one up, test it, and build it and assemble it, and you're done and good to go. Perry, that's some very cool stuff. All right, yeah. Hey, listen, go on an invention adventure this weekend. Go to the store, bring the kids, buy a whole bunch of stuff, tear it apart, and build something something cool. Make your own project. Right, make your own weekend project. Just get creative and go do it. Right? Yeah, well, yeah, why not? It's a blast, and you never know what you'll come up with. All right, I'm Kip K. We'll see you next time with another Maker Fair weekend project. See ya.